tweeted out a picture of uh, this chart earlier this morning and I promised to show how to build this chart uh, using Market Delta Desktop and I want to do that real quick it'll showcase the power of the software uh, as well as how easy it is to do some of these things so this is what uh, we're gonna shoot for and let me drag it off screen first thing you want to do is right click on chart add chart and choose footprint and that'll open up a footprint now some of the settings that uh, I did were right click on footprint choose modify and choose display do dominant only and you can see that will shade the dominant side whichever side experienced uh, greater volume and then it'll shade it uh, whether it had a positive delta or negative delta at that price the other thing that I had on the screenshot that I just showed um, was I changed it from green to blue and that's what it looked like um, some of the other things that I did was I had multiple statistics applied to the chart some on the left and one on the right so let's right click add study and choose um, volume profile and I'm gonna go ahead and just click setup to customize it before I add it so we'll do uh, let's do bid ask Delta and I'm gonna set it to be five percent width of the entire chart I'm not gonna do the fit cell I'll show you this here in a moment and we'll do right auto meaning it'll be situated on the right side um, let's go here and turn that off we don't want any statistics or numbers and let's turn this off and let's display the value area in yellow again you can come back once you add it and customize it further but this will uh, put it on the chart and this isn't what I wanted actually so let me go back and choose bid ask and I want to change it to blue so let's ch to change the color go to bars and choose color and let's choose ask will be blue and we'll make this a little brighter red and there it is you can turn heat mapping off and there it is the yellow represents the value area I'm gonna click OK now let's go ahead and add a few off to the left and again here's the image we're shooting for um, you can see uh, so far we built most of it we want to add a couple of these I'm not going to add them all I'll add two and then we'll add the footprint bar statistics at the bottom so let's right click add study volume profile and click setup this time we will go ahead and add the let's do bid ask uh, delta no, do, we'll do bid ask and we're going to do fit cell and I'm going to do left auto and let's make well let's just stay with those colors for now looks like I added it to the right left auto there we go and maybe I will change the colors Okay, so this is giving us in a, uh, it takes the full width, that's what the fit cell means right here. Instead of giving you the shape, uh, what it does, it gives you just a full width and shows you which, which one is greater. So you could see there's more positive delta at this price. Um, so that's, that's what that means. And we can also, let me show, if I go to display, if you say bars here we can say have it show some numbers on top so here we can see the actual volume how much it was and if I go to color and black I'll change that to white text and so now you can see it's a little more readable this way okay and let's add one more whoops add study volume profile 
and let's go ahead and let's just do the uh, total volume. Let's do, let's do total volume and we'll go to display total and let's do okay looks like I didn't set it to left auto okay and let's change the color of that text to white now, once you've built these charts, like I've just, I've just done this, um, let's add the footprint bar statistics at the bottom. And let's modify that real quick. Let's change it to bright red and bright blue. And we'll change the display to just show us delta change, delta, and delta day. And so there we are. So this is very similar to what we just saw, uh, I guess, looking at the other chart. The only thing we did differently was under highlight it, uh, do POC, and we, we're extending these uh, uh, naked POCs. So if I hit apply, whoops, I got to click extend. So there's there it is. So that, that you could see how easy it is to um, move through these and build. Now, if we wanted to, we could add another tab. It would just duplicate this. We could change the symbol. You can also click replicate. And notice it just replicated the chart. Okay, so it just replicated the chart. And if I if I type in CLE, here's the crude oil. And so just giving you an idea, that would be crude oil. Uh, here's TYA for the bonds or for the notes. All right, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. But this is a nice clean chart. We could continue to add to it if we wanted to. Um, but uh, at least this shows how to quickly build these things.